These are all of the draft variety. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for the draft writers and their quadruple team right here. They come to us from golf, and you can see here they're put together by Anita Dick and Rebecca Brackley. They're the ambassadors of the Horse Rescue. The draft horse riders were started, the idea of providing education to the public through entertainment, and in doing so, have spread the word about the need for horse rescue. Now each of the draft horse riders team members are riding a horse that has been rescued in one way or another. And as you can see, these horses are loving their new jobs. Now the team's aim is to ride for rescue. The team members are all local ladies who are using their spare time to, and resources to be with you here this evening. Now the young lady you see over here to my right in the corner trying to hide, that is Anita, Anita Dayton, and she is riding a big guy, that's a butcher on right there by the name of Lazarus, when she and her husband Rex got this guy, he was down in the trailer, he was a baby, they didn't think they were going to make it, but take a look at him today, hoopa, right? Then I'd like to introduce you to the lady in front. She's got Friar Tuck right there. That's Rebecca. He's a Belgian draft horse. He's also rescued from a BMU ranch up in Canada. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, what is a BMU? Well, a pregnant mare urine. And that's when they were making synthetic estrogen. Now, when the market fell out, it collapsed. Thousands of these horses were killed. And some, thank goodness, were rescued like Friar Tuck right here. Now, Friar Tuck is a horse who brought Anita and Rebecca together. Friar Tuck had a really bad start in his life. He went through several homes and it was adopted by Rebecca and her husband, Gary. It took a lot of love, patience, and understanding, but once she broke through to him, it didn't take long for Rebecca to rehabilitate and train Friar Tuck to do dressage and bulldozer work at some times. Now Lynn is riding Molly. Isn't she cute? I mean, a little intelligent, so is Lynn. But it's a quarter horse cross, who's yet another lucky horse that was rescued from the BMU farm in Canada. Molly, adopted by a wonderful woman who was trained here as a trail horse. Where Molly's gentle and easy personality came out to shine. Molly's owner found out, Lynn did, about the draft horse riders and their effort to educate, she offered, them the use of this great horse they hope to promote. How wonderful these horses are. They were adopted and given a chance. Way to go, Lynn. And Molly. Now Trish is on Chief. Chief is 16 years old. He's a spotted Clydesdale cross. And Chief was rescued by Trish and Rebecca. Only seven months ago, the first sheep was reluctant to be touched by him. His fears constantly kept him from any kind of normal activity. But look at him now. He's working through it and doing a great job. And Denise, she's on the sound. Sounds a shire draft. The one with the old white feet right there, that's what they're known for. They come from England now, Sal. And all the gang get together and practice so that you can come right here to the fair and other places and show you the awareness, bring it to the public attention about how wonderful these horses can be when you can adopt a rescue horse. Learn more about it, the draft horse riders and what they're doing. They'd be glad to talk with you. Come and see them at the barn. On their website is drafthorseriders.com. How about a big round of applause for me? Those big old horses, and by golly, they do a good job. Horse draft horses are all bred for. They're cold blooded horses, are all bred to work the farm, work the ranch. In the old days, they were bred to carry the knights into battle. 